Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the Head Start Lab series, Volume 5, on music production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that puts you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series, we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And these tutorials were created from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring while they're in the program. Now let's go ahead and begin. Hey, what's up everyone, and welcome back to the series here. Now in this video, we're gonna take another first look at what's new in Logic Pro X. Um, there's a whole bunch of enhancements here, uh, but in this particular video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about track stacking, which is a really great option. Now, if you use main stage in the past, you're gonna find some similarities there where you can go ahead and uh, get a couple instruments and layer them on top of each other. This basically works in the same way, but now you could do it in Logic Pro X. Let's go ahead and create four tracks to begin. Awesome, so we have our four tracks right here. Now let's begin uh, selecting what sounds we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to our legacy over here. Um, maybe I'll go to jam pack and select some strings. And I'll, I already know how this sounds, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this. This is a really great uh, orchestral sound. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. Very nice, not super interesting, but we're gonna go ahead and build this up and make it sound awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to our next instrument here. Let's go ahead and select one of the new uh, instruments in Logic Pro, the RetroSynth. Awesome, and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump to uh, one of the cool presets that they have here. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. All right, pretty cool, very interesting. Now on this one, we're gonna go ahead and add a MIDI effect. And the reason why I'm doing this is just to let you know that when you create track stacks, uh, essentially all the routing comes with it, including MIDI effects, plugins, and even auxiliary tracks as well. So it's all kind of uh, you know bunched together in one track or one group track at least. Uh, let's go ahead and add an arpeggiator to prove this point. And I'm going to go to our factory defaults over here and select uh, Classic Cycle 1. So that should be pretty interesting, uh, especially when layered up with other sounds. Let's go ahead and jump to our next instrument right here. Let's go ahead and make that a EX24. So we'll go to our EX24 sampler, select stereo. And let's see what we have here. I really like the, the Legacy series here, so maybe I'll go down over here and select a Polysynth. And I'm already familiar with the, the way this one sounds, so I'll select this one. And let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. Very cool. And for our final one, we'll go ahead and select an ES2. Looks like I selected that piano. Let's go ahead and go find an ES2 right here. And we'll just go ahead and set ourselves up with the factory default. Let's go ahead and hear how that sounds. All right, cool. Now on this one, we'll go ahead and add some effect. How about some delay? Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the wet up so that we, we hear this a little bit more. All right, very cool. So. Now all we need to do is kind of turn this into one, you know, one instrument. We're going to sum this up to one instrument. So all you need to do is uh, go ahead and click and hit or hold command and click over each track. Awesome. Now that you've done that, just go ahead and uh, control click and you get this new option right here, which says create track stack. Let's go ahead and do that. So right here, it gives us a couple different options. You can go ahead and create a folder stack. Now the folder stack is what it says right here, a basic track stack that lets you mute, solo, and control volume from the main track. So select this option to organize tracks. And then you have this other one right here that says summing stack. Now this summing stack uh, basically allows a multi-purpose track stack that mixes it mixes this sub tracks, pardon me, and uh, can be saved as a patch. Uh, you could also, uh, this type right here, uh, can also record, 
playback uh, MIDI or remote control recording on audio uh, only subtracks. So we're going to go ahead and select this one right here and hit create. So as you can see, we have this new group right here. And this one's kind of like the leader, the very top one's kind of like the, the main uh, group which we can go ahead and record on. If we record anything on this one, yeah, it will pick up, but it would basically defeat the purpose. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and record on this track. And as you can see, even our, uh, our range has changed a little bit right here. As it now says sum four, we can definitely change the name of that. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, basically saying that this right here, this section, is a new group. So let's go ahead and hear how our new sound that we just developed sounds like. So that was a lot more interesting than those, you know, four sounds by themselves. And that's basically how you create a track stack in Logic Pro X. So be sure to ch check out our next video, which we're going to go ahead and go over the new drum designer. I'll catch you guys on that video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finances a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.